ओके लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ डू वी क्लासीफाई कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स बट बिफोर वी गेट इन टू द क्लासीफिकेशन लेट्स जस्ट ट्राई टू रिवाइज वॉट डिड वी लर्न इन आर लास्ट क्लास वी अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वॉट इज कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज एन एग्रीमेंट विच इज एनफोर्सिबल बाय लॉ एंड हाउ डू वी नो दैट वी नो दैट बिकॉज सेक्शन टू सब सेक्शन एच ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट एटीन सेवेंटी टू से सो एंड द सेम सेक्शन सब सेक्शन ई ऑफ द सेम सेक्शन सीज एग्रीमेंट वॉट इज एन एग्रीमेंट एग्रीमेंट इज एन ऑफर विच इज एक्सेप्टेड एंड वॉट इज एन ऑफर ऑफर इज वेन वन पर्सन सिग्निफाइज टू अनदर वॉट इज द पर्सन सिग्निफाइज द विलिंगनेस टू डू और नॉट टू डू एंड वाई डज दैट विलिंगनेस और विलिंगनेस टू डू और नॉट टू डू इज सिग्निफाइड to get the consent and when that consent is available that becomes an acceptance how do we know that we know because section 2 subsection b says so and when that offer or the proposal is accepted it becomes an agreement and if that agreement is enforceable by law it becomes a contract and how do we know if it is enforceable by law or not when it satisfies all the conditions of section 10 of the act right this is what we have already covered now let's get into the details of different categories or classifications of contract but before we understand the classification or types of contracts let's have an understanding of one more thing that is the distinction between an agreement and a contract now see these are the two definition a contract is an agreement enforceable by law and what is an agreement agreement is every promise and every set of promises forming consideration for each other is called an agreement this is again we have already studied then a contract comprises of two things an agreement and its enforceability again this is a breakdown of the definition and an agreement comprises of again two things that is offer and acceptance last point it says all contracts are agreements but all agreements are not contracts because all agreements may not be contract as an agreement becomes contract only if it fulfills all the conditions of section 10 yes if it has already satisfies all the condition then it will become a contract and if it becomes a contract that means already it has been an agreement but agreement is a beginning at the beginning level a, a contract is a wider term contract includes agreements but agreement does not mean it will be contract if an agreement has to be contract then it should sat satisfy all the conditions of section 10 that means it should be enforceable and if it is enforceable then only it will be become a contract this is a very basic distinction that we need to know because when we are going for the classification this is important for us to understand the difference between agreement and contract we should not be saying agreement is a contract yes contract all contracts are an agreement but all agreements are not contracts this we should remember we need to remember or we must remember right now let's get into the details these are different types of contracts like in general when we are saying there is something called as void contract there is something called as voidable contract and then there is something called as valid contract then executed executory expressed implied quasi contingent these are different types now these types they can be classified based on their categories so classification of contract based on the formation how they have been formatted how they have been formed or how they have been created right so uh, there there are three categories on the basis of formation or on the basis of creation one is called express the other is called implied and the third one is called quasi it's not quasi remember it's called quasi so first one when we are saying express contract express means what express means expressing when it is expressed and how do we express by words words can be either spoken or written spoken means oral written means written so that is what means express contract express contract means when terms of a contract are expressly agreed upon between the parties in bracket we have written either by words spoken or written at the time of formation of the contract so it it is expressed means a general agreement if i tell you that i will buy your car that is what maybe orally or if you give if i give you by the same thing by writing that means a written but whatever it is either am i giving uh, uh, proposing to you orally or giving it you in written and you are giving me the acceptance either orally or non written if i'm uh, giving you the proposal orally then the acceptance would also come orally but if i'm sending you a letter then acceptance would also come in the form of a letter so whatever it is but things are expressed things are very much clear between us that is called express contract then the next one it is implied implied means imp implied means what is implication coming out of it like you are not expressing you are not saying anything i am not saying anything but based on our behavior the contract is there so that is also there the proposal or acceptance is made otherwise than in words and are inferred inferred from the circumstances 
of the case and conduct of the parties the ca parties conduct of the parties means behavior of the parties the conduct or the behavior are in such a way that in it infers something imagine like there is a bus going on and you just board on that bus means what you did not say anything to conductor conductor did not say anything to you but still there is a contract once you enter the bus that means again the bus was there to give you an offer like bus was offering you a ride and bus just stopped that stoppage was an offer and you boarded the bus that was an acceptance without you saying anything without conductor or the bus driver saying anything there there is a contract so there were no words involved but by the behavior of the bus and by your behavior it was clear that you wanted a ride from the bus so again it becomes a valid contract there was no like it was just an example i gave you and it it is something called as implied contract there is no express expression as such you did not promise anything bus did not promise the bus company the conductor the driver nobody promised anything but still it is evident by your behavior and by the behavior of the bus like we would we should say the com bus company the corporation it is very much clear that yes there is a contract now one more category one more type of uh, contract based on the formation is quasi contract now what is quasi contract quasi contract is something which is not actually a contract but it looks like a contract how and again it has certain implication it has certain behaviors it has certain uh, legal obligations related to contract that is why we call it as contract but it is not actually in a contract it just looks like to be a contract so what do we mean in quasi contract rights and obligations arise not by an agreement but by operations of law imagine it's like quasi contract is like uh, let's suppose uh, you found somebody's wallet on the road now what is your responsibility if you found the wallet your responsibility is either you give it to the police station or return to the person but until you give it to that person or you hand over to the police station or whoever the authorized person is until and unless you hand it over till the time you are having it it's your responsibility that you should be taking a, a due care of that wallet like it is yours so again that is something there was no contract you didn't intend to do anything but still by your behavior by the operation of law it was in such a way that it happens to be a contract so certain situations are like that when quasi contracts also arise we will learn quasi contracts in detail it is also there in indian contract act for now we just need to understand if it is expressed it is called express contract if it is not expressed it is implied and sometimes without implication without expression there are certain contracts created that they are also called as quasi contracts right this is on the basis of creation if you are creating a contract this is how it is going to be either expressed or implied or otherwise there is something called as quasi one more thing is there is something called as tacit contract tacit contract is also similar to implied contract it is not something different right now what is the classification of contract based on performance once it is created whether it has been performed or not now there are two things one is called unilateral contract and another one is called bilateral contract unilateral contract is the one where only one party has to satisfy the obligations it's like when only uh, the contract is always between two parties and out of the two only one has to satisfy his obligation that is called unilateral contract and if both the parties have to satisfy their obligation that is called bilateral bilateral means both the sides unilateral means only one side so if only one party is supposed to fulfill the obligation that is called unilateral if both the parties are yet to fulfill or both the parties are supposed to or required to fulfill their obligations as they have been promised or as they have been agreed as a terms of the contract then it is called bilateral it is simple unilateral unilateral means one party bilateral means both the parties right one more thing is on the basis of execution performance is like okay who is supposed to perform who is not supposed to perform but how about the status of the contract not of the parties we are talking about the contract performance is for the parties and execution is for the entire contract so based on execution we have executed contract and we have executory contract executed contract means all the parties everything has been performed all the rights the contract is over a con contract is said to be executed contract when both the parties to contract have performed their share of obligation so the contract is over the parties have delivered their promises that is called executed but if the parties are yet to perform now again one party or both the parties a contract is one uh, an executor contract is one which is uh, either wholly unperformed or something remains in there to be done by both the parties to a contract sometimes a contract may be partly executed and partly executory that is also one more thing like if both the part 
anything if something is yet to be performed we will call it as executory executed means things are over contract is over parties have performed executory means parties have not performed yet either both the parties or one party or both the parties some part of their obligation they haven't performed but if it is not yet over that will be executory right if it is over it is executed if it is not then executory that is the difference between execution and based on performance we are saying bilateral unilateral based on formation we are saying express implied and causi now based on enforceability think that that was there that if it is uh, performed or not if it is executed or not if it is formed or not based on this uh, based on those things we had different criteria different categories different types what about what about based on enforceability if it is fully enforceable to the court court of law that is called valid contract if that is if it satisfies all the conditions of section 10 it is called valid contract so that is something if you can take it to the court it is valid if you cannot take it to the court if it is not enforceable if it is not satisfying all the conditions that is something called as void that is the difference valid means everything is perfect void means nothing is perfect valid and void that is the thing if it is enforceable if it can be taken to the court it is valid if it cannot be taken to the court it is void a contract which ceases to be enforceable by law becomes void right now you would say if it is it, if it is not enforceable how we how we should how can we call it as contract it should remain an agreement only right if something is not enforceable by law how can we say it is a contract contract if it if the agreement becomes enforceable then only it becomes a contract but if it is not enforceable then how can we say it is a contract it will remain just an agreement sometimes it happens that a contract is there but certain conditions are there which are not satisfied like i can give you an example like indian partnership act as per the indian partnership act the maximum limit for the part number of partners can be 200 until and unless you are having till the time you are having 200 partners you are enforceable your contract is enforceable your agreement is enforceable so it will become a contract but imagine by mistake or something happens and you get 201 partners in your firm now imagine can it be legal like it is an agreement everything is legal everything is perfect but still it cannot be enforceable as you are not fulfilling the condition of the law like not the contract law but the indian partnership act you are not fulfilling but if something is there if it is not fulfilling that means it cannot be enforceable and if it cannot be enforceable yes it was a contract but now it will be a void contract it was a valid until you had 200 members 200 partners but once you cross that limit it ceases to be enforceable right that is why we are using the word a contract which ceases to be enforceable by law becomes void if it was not enforceable from the beginning itself that means it will never be a contract it will just remain a it will just remain an agreement only but if it was enforceable at some point of time but now it is not then it is called void now if we understand what is valid and what is void then in between what is voidable voidable is something which is enforceable by law at the option of one or more parties but not at the option of the other party or parties is voidable that means out of two parties if one party has the choice to make it voidable if one party like two parties are there one party has broke the promise if the other party is not swing or not breaking the obligation if the other party is just accepting is accepting it as it is even if the first party has broke their promise then it will remain valid but if the other party is not accepting it it will become void so avoidable means it can be void and it can be valid also both the things are possible but it is at the option of one party so one party has an upper hand over here whether to make it valid or whether to make it void and yes anytime it can be made valid at and anytime it can be made void at the discretion of one party not at the discretion of the other party okay generally it happens that two parties are supposed to do something one party has already done but it has not done it fully the way it is supposed to be done the way it was supposed to be done and the other party if it is accepting less than what was promised then it is valid if they are not accepting then it will become void so that is what called voidable contract now there is something called as contingent contract what is contingent contingent means some contingent means something that can happen something that cannot happen we are not sure whether it will happen or not like an example whether it will rain or not we are not sure so if your contract is dependent upon something whether it will happen or not happen uh, whether it will happen or not happen 
so on the happening or non happening of some future uncertain event if the contract if not contract the performance of the contract a contract the performance of which is dependent on the happening or non happening of some future uncertain event is known as contingent contract contingency means something that can happen or it cannot happen so your contract is if dependent upon something that can happen or something that cannot happen then it will be contingent contract right so these are the different classifications let's have a look what are the different classifications first one valid void voidable and contingent these are based on what based on enforceability then we have executed and executory what is it it is based on execution then we have something on the ba basis of formation express and implied and quasi and then we have something on the basis of performance also unilateral and bilateral these are all different categories of contracts that you will see thank you